Life on the Red Horse Ranch. Alabama hasn't offered to tell the boys at the Red Horse Ranch who the stranger was that came to talk to him during the dance. <laughs> the boys have almost ceased to wonder about Alabama and his strange actions. However, here's something we do know, that Tenderfoot is falling desperately in love with Rose Carter, daughter of Dad Carter, who owns the Red Horse Ranch. Let's join the boys of the Red Horse Outfit. Yeah, cowboy, from ranch to ranch I roam. At every ranch when welcome, I make myself at home. Two years I worked for the Bar L, and one for the old Bar O. Then drifted west from Texas to the plains of Mexico. There I met up with a rancher who was looking for a hand. When springtime greened the valleys, eyes are burning the Bar S grand. I worked on through the summer, then early in the fall. And over the distant ranges, there came the old oak hall. It's now I'm tired of rambling, no longer will I roam. When my pony I've unsaddled in the old corral at home, I've been a wandering cowboy from ranch to ranch did roam. But now my pony's grazing at the ranch show I call home. By golly, that's one song we forgot to sing up at the dance, ain't it? Yeah, it's about the only one we didn't sing. Why, if we'd have kept on like they wanted us to, we'd be there yet. <laughs> Boy, did I swing the gals at that sachet. Rowdy down. <laughs> yeah, but where you made a big hit was doing that ventriloquist act. The folks sure like yeah, that. It sucks. <laughs> anyone can throw his voice if he just learns how. Yeah, but I was scared someone was going to tell Arizona to throw his voice out the window and jump after it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll find out I can throw my boot as good as I can throw my voice, Bob. <laughs> Hold him down. Hey, there. Tenderfoot, yeah. you're keeping awful quiet today. What's got into you? Well, I'm, I'm all right, Bob. Yeah, Tenderfoot, seems like you didn't enjoy the shindig up at the house any more than Rose and Alabama did. Well, speaking of Alabama, He's feeling mighty good today about something or other. Where'd he ride off to, anyhow? Can't say as to that, but he sure was stepping mighty high, wasn't he? Say, Bob, did you say there was some stranger showed up at the barn dance that asked for Alabama? Yeah, never saw the feller before. Alabama was mighty excited for some reason or other. Well, he's been acting that way for heck knows how long. Yeah, it ain't bothering me none. Tenderfoot, you better get that fiddle and see if you can get up a little pep. All right, what do you want? Oh, lead off on something, Arizona.
Alabama ain't come in yet, has he? Say, you don't suppose he's gone over to Roaring River like you said he was going to, do you? You mean to find out about that Dawson boy? No, I doubt that. Mr. Carter's dead sense against Alabama bringing the boy on the place. Him being the son of an outlaw. Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see Alabama bringing the boy in here. Well, well, well. There's our old friend from the Chuck House. What's on your mind, Cookie? <laughs> Come on in, Cookie. Right, Cookie. Mr. Bob, do yeah. y'all know where Mr. Alabama is, please? Mr. Carter, he wants to talk to him. Alabama ain't here, Cookie. Don't know where he rode to. I was kind of thinking he might have rode over to Roaring River. Ooh, you mean Mr. Alabama's gonna fight them rustlers some more over there? <laughs> no, they won't be in no condition to fight for some spell, Cookie. You tell Mr. Carter Alabama will be back before long. Yes, yeah, but you know, if I knowed you was riding off after them rustlers, I took them my bureau whirlwind. He always did have a powerful grievance against cattle thieves. Yeah, them farmers would have made short work of you and that imitation donkey. No, sir, man, you wrong there. I took my resolve. <laughs> that gun ain't been shot since the War of 1812, has it, Cookie? <laughs> Listen here, man. This resolve, look here. It'll shoot. See, I got one bullet in my resolver. See one that bullet. one bullet there? Yeah, you couldn't shoot a horned toad with that pop gun. What are you gonna do with just one bullet? Well, I shoot them rustlers with that one bullet. You see, I wait till they all gets in line like this, and then I levels down on them like this. Yeah, and then what? I pull the trigger like this. And oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you hurt? <laughs> no, he ain't hurt. Pick up your hat, Arizona. By golly, that bullet went clean through Arizona's yeah, hat. Yeah, and it took some of me with it. Oh, oh he's all right. Cookie, you be careful where you point your gun after this. Take that blunder, boss, and hang it up on the wall. Yes, that was all of went off. Boys, I, I, I still think I'm shot. Where do you want us to bury you, Arizona? Gosh, I never thought of that. Well, this might suit him. Hit me a chord there, Monty. As I walked out in oh, the yeah. streets of Laredo, as I walked out in Laredo one day, I spied a poor cowboy wrapped up in white linen, wrapped up in white linen and cold as a clay. Oh, beat the drum slowly and play the fife lowly and play the dead march as you carry me along. Take me to the green valley, there lay the sod o'er me, for I'm a young cowboy and I know I've done wrong. Let sixteen gamblers come handle my coffin, let, let sixteen <laughs> cowboys come sing me a song. Take me to the graveyard and lay the sod o'er me, for I'm a poor cowboy and I know I've done wrong. It was once in the saddle I used to go dashing It was once in the saddle I used to be gay First to the dram house and then to the card house Got shot in the breast I am dying today Go fetch me a cup, a cup of cold water To cool my parched lips, a poor cowboy said Before I returned the spirit had left him and gone Maker, the cowboy was dead. We beat the drum slowly and played the fife lowly and bitterly wept as we bore him along. For we all loved our comrades, so brave, young, and handsome. We all loved our comrades, although he does wrong. <laughs> Say, there's someone riding up with Alabama out in front. Yeah, who is that with Alabama? Say, I've seen that stranger before. Sure, now I remember. That's a fellow Alabama met at the barn dance. Well, say, they're getting off out in front of the house there, aren't hey, they? Hey, Alabama, come out here and give us an account of yourself. Yeah, By right. golly, he's stepping higher than ever. What's got into you now, Alabama? Howdy, Pops. Huh? Who's your new friend, Alabama? <laughs> Boys, I want some music, and I want it fast. Wait a minute. What? I ain't answering no questions till you play for me. Well, what's the idea? <laughs> Stop asking questions and play, will you? <laughs> well, you asked for it. <laughs> Love. Love, oh love, oh careless love. Yeah. 
It's love, oh love, oh careless love You see what love has done for me Sorrow, sorrow to my heart Sorrow, sorrow to my heart Sorrow, sorrow to my heart When me and my love had to part Okay Yes, sir, boy. <laughs> Seems you've got some news for us. Yeah, who is that fella rode up out front? Well, boys, your old pal Alabam turned out to be a pretty good detective after all. Well, it's about time you was letting us in on some of this snooping that's been going on around here. Well, boys, here it is. That fella that just rode up to the house there is Mr. Richard Nile. That ain't telling us nothing. Who is he? What's he doing out well, here? hold your horses. I'm coming to that. He's up there at the house right now on a mission that's going to make Dad and Rose Carter mighty happy. Oh. Alabama, you can do more talking in circles than a bald eagle. <laughs> What's his business here? <laughs> Mr. Niles is a representative of a big oil company, and his business is to see that they begin drilling for oil on the Red Horse Ranch just as soon as Dad Carter signs a lease. Well, oh. Oh. Well, I'll be a cross-eyed jackrabbit. Drilling for oil on the Red Horse Ranch, then Alabama was right. We have an idea no one's going to leave Alabama alone till he explains how he made this important discovery. Be sure to listen 